Ready. Welcome everybody to our first Lila Tobi Srifka. We're gonna to try to do this once a week. Um, so first of all, raise your hand if you are in Kitty Camp in Lefferts Building. Let me see who's in Kitty Camp. Now raise your hand if you are in first and second grade younger division of main camp. Raise your hand. Nice, I see so many hands. Now raise your hand if you're not in kitty camp and you're not in younger division, you're just the brother or sister of someone who's in base Africa day camp. Raise your hand. Wow, we are so happy to have you. So before I read some stories, we're gonna start off with a song that the younger division and older division learned by their amazing head counselors that are on Khani and Sarah. You can wave hi, Khani and Sarah and Shani. So if you're in first and second grade and you know this song, please sing along and do the motions. And if you're in kitty camp, you can watch and listen. And then I'm going to read the stories. So let's play the song. And I want to see you doing the motions on the screen if you know it. We don't hear it. We don't hear it. Miriam, if you hear me, we see it playing, but we don't hear it. Okay, sometimes there's technical difficulties. Meanwhile, you get yourselves ready. We're gonna work on it. sang along and next week we'll do a song that our kitty campers know the first book that i'm going to be reading tonight is called glad to be me so first of all thank you to the head counselors that joined and now the first book is glad to be me but when i read this book i'm gonna need your help do you think you all could help me as i read it okay Look around the world with me. What can we pretend to be? I'm gonna read it. And as I'm reading it, I wanna see you acting this out along with me. Watch me bounce just like a ball across the room from wall to wall. Who could bounce a ball? Pretend you're bouncing that ball. Bounce, bounce. How about this? I can move my hands like rain dripping down the window pane. How many of you can move your hands like rain dripping down the window pane? Now it's pouring and pouring and pouring and faster and faster and faster and faster. It's raining so hard. What's next? I could zoom. 
just like a car with wheels driving near and far. Who could hold the steering wheel and drive it? Zoop, zoop, zoom, zoom. Who could drive? Come on, let me see these drivers. Zoom. I could bend like all the trees swaying gently in the breeze. Can I see your hands like trees swaying gently in the breeze? You know what's funny? When I was standing one day outside the house waiting for the bus with my Kindlach, I saw the trees swaying in the wind and I was like, oh, this is a fun book. I could bend like all the trees swaying gently in the breeze. Look at this. See my fingers one by one unfold like flowers in the sun. Can you do that? Can you take your fingers and open them up like a flower? Do you ever get flowers for Shabbos and they're closed and they're like tulips or roses and they're closed and suddenly during the week you see them opening up? Can I see you do that with your hand? Close it and then open up. Wow. How about this? I can make a fishy grin with my mouth and cheeks pulled in. Who could do that? Hmm, I see so many fishies. Who could do that? Who could speak while they make a fishy grin? Hi, my name is, can you try to speak while you have a fishy grin? Can you do that? I can flap like birds up high, soaring, flying in the sky. Can I see some birds? Can I see some birds? I love seeing all these birds. Let's see who's flying. Wow. But you know what? Even though I could pretend to be so many things, you know what my favorite thing is to be? But most of all, I'm glad to be just the way Hashem made me. You know why I'm glad to be me? For only people learn and do the mitzvahs Hashem wants us to. Could a bird give tzedakah? Could a car eat kosher? Could any of the things, could a tree light Shabbos candles? No. Only Yiddish and Medlach and Kindlach, only you could do mitzvahs. And that's why I am so glad to be me because I get to do all the mitzvahs that Hashem wants us to do. Raise your hand if you're glad to be me. Raise your hand if you're happy to be a Yid that gets to do Torah mitzvahs. Now raise your hand if you want me to read another story. Do you want me to read you another story? Are you ready to go to bed already? Who's ready to go to bed? No, you're not ready to go to bed yet? Okay, let's do another one. This story is called, If I Went to the Moon. Does anyone have this book in their house? You have it? Great. If I went to the moon. If I went to the moon for a year and a day, what would I need to bring for my stay? Doing mitzvahs up there would be so much fun. So what would I pack to get mitzvahs done? When I wake on the moon, I'd have to wash up. I'd bring lots of water and my washing cup. 
I'd pack up the pushka I've used many times and for giving Sadaka some nickels and dimes. To take to the moon, what else would I choose? My own special scissor that I like to use. Do you have your own special scissor? For saying my brachas of each different kind, I need to pack food, every type I could find. In my suitcase goes bread. What bracha is bread? That's right, I might see. And grape juice so sweet. What bracha is grape juice? Hagathan. Apples. Hades. Tomatoes. Hadana. And chocolate to eat. What bracha is chocolate? Shahako. Sharing toys with a friend, it's a mitzvah I like. So I bring along bubbles, my blocks, and my bag. Can you imagine in the suitcase so far, there's water and there's food and there's bubbles and there's a bike. Without friends on the moon, there'd be no way to share. So I need a good friend to come with me up there. Hello, here's his friend. Do you think his friend could go in his suitcase? But how could I do keep it of the aim to listen so nicely and clean up each game? First, I'd pack up all my games. Yes, that's what I do. And then ask both my parents to come along too. Could you put parents in a suitcase? Here's another great mitzvah I know I would miss. I'll take some mezuzahs to put up and kiss. Listen to what happens next. Look what this kid thinks he's packing in his suitcase. A house full of doorways on which they could hang. A hammer to use and some nails I can bang. Can you fit a house in a suitcase? How can I take our whole house on this trip. My suitcase is poppy. It won't even zip. I guess that this world is the most perfect spot, the best place in space for the mitzvahs we've got. Since Hashem made the earth for our mitzvahs so dear, I'd better unpack and do mitzvahs right here. So many mitzvahs that we can do with so many things that we have in the house. Because everything that Hashem made in this world, Hashem made us to use to do a mitzvah with. Hashem gave us paper to color on and make beaker cholim cards. Hashem gave us money to give tzedakah. Hashem gave us food to make a bracha on, to share. If you already know how to write, if you're in a, in already in Beis Rifka in the Younger Division, you already know how to write, you can write in the chat, what's your favorite mitzvah? What's your absolute favorite, favorite, favorite mitzvah that you like to do? I'd love to see your answers. Can anyone write what their favorite mitzvah is? Sharing my doll. Malka Goldfein likes to share her doll. Anyone else have a favorite mitzvah? The Itkin's favorite mitzvah is tzitzis. Anyone else? Tzedakah, Shabbos candles, Avas Yisrael, tzedakah. Wow, so many mitzvah kinder. Davening, candles. This is why we're here. I think we have time for one more book. But before I read a book, I see someone holding up a different book. Are you holding My Two Friends? Is that your favorite book? <laughs> so maybe we'll read that another week. Today, the last book I'm gonna read is called Oops, I'm Sorry. Does anybody have Oops, I'm Sorry in their house? 
I see some hands raised. You have this book? So I'm gonna read this book and this book teaches us what to do when we make a mistake. Oops. Oops, I'm sorry. Avi and Gavi came home one bright day. They opened the door and they heard mommy say, welcome home boys. She gave them a hug and set out some wafers and milk in a mug. They made the right brach on their little snack when Gavi's whole cup spilled down Avi's back. Oops, Gavi said, but then he grew still said nothing else about the big spill. Hey, Avi jumped, just look at my sweater. It's all full of milk and it couldn't be wetter. But Gavi just sat there and looked a bit sad. It wasn't on purpose. Why are you so mad? Right, he just made a mistake. Because even when it's just a mistake, the kind of mistake anyone can make, there are always three steps for people to take. Saying sorry is first, help to fix it and then find a way to make sure it won't happen again. Can you say that out loud with me? Saying sorry is first, help to fix it and then find a way to make sure it won't happen again. Three steps. Gavi took a deep breath. I'm sorry I wet you. To fix it, I'll find paper towels I can get you. He thought and he said, with my next milk and wafer, I'll put my cup far from the edge to be safer. Avi watched Gavi clean up with a smile and the two of them went off to play for a while. Avi set up his train tracks and made double lanes. Together, the two boys directed the trains. But Gavi was steering too fast round and round when he slipped and he flopped and he plopped on the ground. The trains left the tracks. <gasps> Away they all flew. The beautiful setup was knocked over too. Oops, he made another mistake. Gavi said, oops, it was just a small fall. There's no way I meant this to happen at all. Avi still looked upset, Gavi saw, and he knew exactly which three things he needed to do. Say it with me. Saying sorry is first, help to fix it, and then find a way to make sure it won't happen again. Gavi said, I'm sorry I broke up the track. I'll fix it and put all the pieces right back. And for next time, I want you to know, I'll slow down a bit when I make my trains go. So Gavi attached all the tracks one by one, connecting the pieces until he was done. I forgive you, said Avi. Let's get some blocks down and add a big tower to little train town. See this page, you gotta turn the book to see it. They balance the blocks, adding one then another and having such fun taking turns with each other. The tower was perfect, the tallest they built so strong and so straight, not a wobble or tilt. Let's show our big sister. She's right down the hall. Dina, come here, please, they started to call. What is it, she asked. Dina opened the door and let it slam shut, which shook the whole floor. The tower they built with such care block by block came tumbling down to their sadness and shock. When Dina saw all of that mess by her feet, she knew what to do and did not skip a beat. Say it along with me, saying sorry is first, help to fix it and then find a way to make sure it won't happen again. Oh boys, I'm sorry about my mistake. Letting go of that door made your whole building break. I'm going to help you and here's what we'll do. We'll build it all over again, just like new. From now on, I'll close the door gently, okay? It's really much better to close it that way. They named their new tower, rebuilt just as high, the I'm sorry tower. I'm sure you know why. 
Do you all know what to do if we make a mistake? I'm sorry, book. So tonight we read these three books. Glad to be me. If I went to the moon. Oops, I'm sorry. And I wish all the best of good day, Kam Kindalach, a good night, and have a Lila Tov, and a good night's rest and sleep. And you should have such sweet chassidish dreams and wake up tomorrow morning excited for another amazing, incredible day in Beis Rifka Day Camp with so much fun activities and amazing mowers and counselors and amazing head counselors. Thank you everyone for joining and stay tuned for another Lila Tov Beis Rifka in Merit Hashem that we'll do another time. So everyone, you could wave goodnight. We're so happy you joined. Thanks for coming.